<laughs> okay, so I'm starting and uh, say thank you very much for invitation and uh, how much I understand about the subject of this uh, conference and uh, we have uh, 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 several subjects and uh, maybe uh, one uh, name of one of these uh, subjects uh, is uh, name is geometric representation theory no geometric representation theory this is uh, uh, representation theory of different kind of algebra, of Katsmudzi algebras or toroidal algebra of uh, something like that, but uh, yes. Okay. What? Okay. But uh, no, it is old story, but. Uh, more than 10 years or 20 years, uh, maybe even more, but it used a lot of geometric things and uh, algebraic ge geometry and something like that. And uh, so geometric representation theory, this is one part of a story. And uh, also we have uh, in integrable system. No, according of uh, name of, of this school, integrable system has to be there. And this object for one uh, side is separated and the other side it also can be understood as a part of this story. And uh, <coughs> also a bit of uh, <coughs> theoretical physics, it means that it is uh, field theory and something like that, it also has to be a part of what is going on here. And uh, no, this is, I think this is a general story what is happening here in, in this room. But about <coughs> my lectures, I want to start uh, with <coughs> the following thing that uh, in uh, integrable system, the simplest, maybe some kind of initial example of all uh, this business, we can write down some uh, simple formula. This is simple formula is for function which depend in y, z, and uh, q, and uh, this is equal to, uh, it is given by series of uh, simple one and given a geometric type uh, uh, or uh, it is like this and uh, summation is going on in N. Uh, in, and belong to Z and N. <coughs> It's like this, and downstairs we here have just a simple product. 1 minus ZQ, 1 ZQ square, and so on. And we have N terms here, 1 minus ZQ power N, and uh, and uh, like uh, this is <coughs> very, very old and familiar object. And uh, if you have looked to this, then it uh, satisfy the simple difference equation. Uh, yes, and this uh, difference equation, um, if I write down this uh, correctly, it is something like that. If you take this function and subtract uh, this uh, one, 
and uh, after that, take a product. Uh, in, no, in all terms, uh, after we subtract one, in all terms we have this. So I can write one minus ZQ here, and it will be <coughs> almost F. And actually, it will be what? Uh, uh, it, it will be YQ times F, but in order to do it, we need to make up some shift in Z. And, uh, and it is like that. So if I, uh, uh, it means that I substitute Z to ZQ inverse. Yes, and uh, I hope I did not make a mistake, but uh, anyway, this is different equation, simple one, and people calling this uh, different equation the SL2 uh, difference Toda equation and uh, and you look uh, what is this? It is uh, no, we have F and I apply to F some different operators, which is here. And uh, then I uh, get F times Y and Q we have here also. But uh, it, is, it does not matter. But uh, uh, schematically, we can write down this, that F is an eigenfunction for some, in this case, of some difference uh, operator in Z, and uh, it is eigenfunction, and Y is more or less eigenvalue. Uh, anyway, uh, this is a rather typical uh, situation, and uh, you know, in principle, if you uh, no, it is some connection of integrable system, but in this case we have only one variable. There will be, maybe I'll explain if I, uh, uh, or at least uh, I will say something about more complicated cases of the same story, but... Uh, this is a difference equation in Z. Yes, this is difference equation in Z. But... Uh, in principle, uh, uh, such kind of story uh, uh, appear in many cases. So, so this is TODA for uh, SL2, but we can consider TODA for uh, SLN or different uh, cases also. In this case, we have function, we have function in many variables, uh, many Zs, and uh, uh, we, we have no, not only one difference operators, but many. Uh, they commute, so integrable system appear there. And the query is uh, uh, sometimes, uh, not always, uh, I mean for TODA definitely yes, but for more complicated integrable system, no. Sometimes the formula of similar kind exists. And uh, then, if you have such story in the mind, then uh, uh, no, the people who are dealing with uh, such kind of things, so this formula resembles two things, and uh, one thing, no, surely it is uh, looking like character, character of something. No, it cannot be Katsumuji algebra, or, or, but it's still a it character of some uh, something because many formulas for a character are looking like that. And also people, uh, it is much later established, but uh, <coughs> people who are working with not invariants and things like that, the, in many cases the formula for not invariants, if 
write down it in appropriate way, also looking like that. So <coughs> therefore, uh, uh, my, my subject is so three lectures. It is. Uh, uh, not so big time, and so it, it is not clear how much uh, I uh, can explain. But uh, mm, uh, what I want to start about uh, some uh, representation, theoretical meaning of such kind of formula, let me erase it, uh, but uh, uh, I will keep it in the mind, uh, a representation a theoretical meaning. It is the first and <laughs> a related story which is also uh, a part of my talk and maybe some other talks in this conference, so such kind of formula uh, is very close or a part of uh, what people calling instant on counting. Uh, so what I, I start with, uh, uh, let me uh, just <coughs> and uh, about instant on counting, uh, maybe let me d just fix some name that instant on counting, or better to say that uh, in, <coughs> if you are talking about Toda, it means that uh, what you actually need is what people calling so called Zastava. Many faults. No, Zastava is some Russian or maybe Russian word, but uh, people are now using this kind of terminology. And uh, yes, and so this is it. Uh, now, uh, In, in, in some theory, it is. <laughs> uh, in some theory, I cannot say better. <laughs> yes, yes, the thought is from here. Yeah. Uh, and what kind of theory you, you have in the mind if you, if you hear Toda? <laughs> Those invented by Polikov uh, 45 years ago, so they were in young monastery. Yes, yes, yes. Or but in uh, or three or where? But I use the word instanton in very wide sense. In all theory, which you have some model space and count some generating function, then all of them, in my mind, are just instanton. Okay. Uh, so, uh, but. Uh, uh, I, I want to uh, start, uh, no, and uh, very, very last introductory uh, things that I want my lecture being really introductory. So if I uh, say, uh, will say something really new, it will be in the very end or does not happen at all. So.
think that this is polynomial algebra in n variables. But uh, uh, let us look to, to this by the following way. So here in CPN, it is uh, acting uh, 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 SLN, or maybe better to say JLN, is acting here. And all these spaces are reducible representation of JLN. And uh, this is uh, irreducible. No, it is uh, surely also irreducible representation. Highest weight is this. Here's highest weight is this. Here highest weight is this, and so on. And uh, if uh, uh, you take the sum of such uh, finite dimensional irreducible representation and uh, uh, then uh, you get this and also we can see here that because highest weight have such structure then it is easy to uh, define the product of this algebra and how to do it. So if uh, we have for example let us use some notation so it is V uh, it is just standard vector space, it is S2V, and so on. And for the product, uh, we need a map. For example, uh, we know that, uh, no, no, it will be convenient to put here star. Uh, anyway, if you have. Uh, V is, uh, 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 no, suppose V is fundamental representation. Uh, no, just uh, to avoid confusion, if uh, V is fundamental representation, so we have a map from S to V here. <laughs> yes, and uh, uh, because uh, this S to V is generated by a highest weight product of highest weight vectors here. Yes, and uh, if we write down the uh, dual map, no, it's co-multiplication. And if you write down the dual map like this, uh, then it gives us uh, uh, multiplication. And so you see that I confuse fundamental representation and dual one, but uh, it, it, it is clear what I have in mind. Now, if you want, to, uh, no, the, uh, I want to say that in, in principle it is possible to do the same story for any group, and in our case it is falling. That, uh, let me take Grassmannian and group as a two hat is acting here, and on Grassmannian I have the uh, also line bundle which uh, appear, uh, uh, no, Grassmannian is a quotient, and uh, on Grassmannian, actually I did not explain it in the full details, but in Grassmannian uh, we have line bundle which usually calling determinant one, and then I can write down the following story. Uh, C plus this plus this plus so on. And I also want to uh, uh, use it for uh, construction of coordinate ring of this Grassmannian, and it is easy. Uh, uh, and for that, let me recall or say that algebra SL2 hat is affine Katz Moody algebra and of rank 2. So it means that uh, weight of representation are two numbers, H1 and H2 like for any uh, algebra of rank two, and we also have the conceptions of fundamental representation, and such fundamental representation 
uh, has uh, labeled by zero one. No, uh, no, no, better maybe like this. And uh, no, we have a second one, but. Uh, uh, anyway, I recall also that the sum of these numbers is this number how center is acting on a representation. <coughs> and uh, let me use uh, the notation for irreducible representation. This is irreducible representations with dominant highest weight. For that, we need to take here non-negative number. So I can take one zero, this is in a sense, it, it is well known, it is the simplest example of such representation. So uh, I can write down here and so on and uh, other name of this representation, they are vacuum representations uh, for uh, uh, with the mean theory, but uh, uh, what we easily see, uh, just trying to repeat this, then we have L02 can be embedded in a tensor product of two such things, for example, and I can take K1 plus K2 here, it will be K1 here, K2 here, and we have such kind of, of embedding and dual map to this give you, uh, no, we have to understand duality in appropriate way, but skip this. Uh, but again, on naive setting that uh, we can consider the sum of such spaces. And uh, it is more or less true that this sum can be understood as the coordinate ring of uh, uh, Grassmannian. Uh, my next step, which I go to the direction of this prototype formula, is the following. Uh, No, I have this Grassmannian. This is uh, uh, some kind of on infinite dimensional manifold. And because uh, this is the quotient of SL2 hat over parabolic group, then here I had distinguished point, which is corresponding to one uh, from here. And also, uh, you know, inside my group SL2, uh, no, with central extension or not, I mean, I mean here. I have subgroup which uh, is looking like this. And here it will be some FT. Yes, and uh, uh, no, uh, uh, how to think about this subgroup? This subgroup is a uh, nilpotent uh, currents. It is looking like currents from the circle to nilpotent group, so let us denote it by this. Uh, now, uh, in such kind of geometry of homogeneous spaces, you can ask the following question. Here, it looking like the following. You take this Grassmannian, you take distinguished point here, and you are trying to do the following. You take this group, which is n hat, you acting by this group on this point, and inside this Grassmannian you get something like submanifold, and you uh, want to consider the closure. And the question is, what is this? Uh, why it is natural, maybe I try to explain later, but formally what? We have Grassmannian 
manifold of angles many. And manifold it is something rather big, and I have this point, and I, I act by uh, nilpotent group, I get a submanifold here, and uh, what I am interested in actually about closure of this submanifold, and it gives me something. Uh, 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 how much it is uh, well defined by this way. This is a question, but it is possible to say, but from the point of view of coordinate ring, uh, it can be described by uh, the construction which I explain now. So, well, let us consider what I used for coordinate ring for all Grassmannian. What is this? It is 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, and so on. And uh, let me say a little bit, uh, I did not formulate it, but better to say what is this. Uh, we, uh, and all of them also. Uh, we take uh, my Lie algebra, SL2 times C T, T inverse plus C times T and uh, in this uh, representation and in all other representation I have an uh, object which is calling by a vacuum vector uh, let will be vacuum vector no, now it will be here. And first of all, uh, this uh, SL2 is killing, uh, parabolic subgroup is killing this vector. So uh, it means SL2 times CT. All this subalgebra applying to this vector, it is zero. And uh, uh, vacuum vector with the same property uh, uh, exists in all these spaces. Yes. All, uh, after that, uh, uh, no, the sum of these two numbers equal one. It means that I uh, uh, and k is central element, so k times v equal v. So it is like that. After that, here I have this parabolic algebra plus k times v, uh, k times c, and I induced from one dimensional representation of uh, this algebra, and it gives me uh, something, but uh, this representation is calling usually in the representation theory by parabolic verma, and then I factorize it by the biggest uh, a non trivial submodel, and it gives me a representation which here I denote by this. Uh, yes, and also uh, the well known statement which uh, you can find more or less in uh, any book, textbook. In, Card's book on any book uh, about this. If you do this, uh, 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 so you have Vermeer representation, parabolic Vermeer representation, which let me denote by this way. And if you want to get this, you have to factorize by vector which is e minus one power k plus one, it is zero. Yes, and uh, so you take parabolic verma, then you apply this to a vector v, maybe let us put k here to a vacuum vector, and this vector generate a maximal sub-representation. You have factorized it, and you get this. Okay. Uh, now, uh, no, I will use this soon. Uh, so, uh, 
No, I have 10 minutes maybe. Yes, so no, they are not working. <laughs> No, for me, better to use this. <laughs> okay. And uh, now, uh, uh, next step uh, will be the following. So, well, I take L0, 1, and uh, I can take uh, vacuum vector V1, and uh, just act by the uh, uh, Lie algebra of my N, what does it mean? It in this case means that I have this vector. I take this representation and consider here subspace uh, like uh, generated e minus 1, e minus 2, e minus 3, and so on. And I uh, can apply it to uh, a vacuum vector, for example, to this. And it gives me a subspace. It uh, let me denote it L01. Maybe I put E here. It means that to highest vector, I am acting not by all algebra, but by this E. And it will be a subspace in the whole representation. Yes. and. Uh, After that, uh, no, because uh, we had a map, for example, lambda L01 times L01 to L02, then uh, uh, such kind of, uh, no, 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 but like this. Uh, in, in this direction, it is for dual spaces. Yes, but uh, we can see that L02E, we can embed it to L01E times L01E. And it is also will be the embedding and uh, on a sum of all such spaces, if I consider the sum L0 K E by K, uh, then uh, using uh, such kind of co-multiplication when K1 plus K2 split by K1 and K2 here, give me co-algebra structure on this sum and uh, dual thing is uh, 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 commutative algebra. Yes, and su such kind of uh, co commutative algebra, we can take this formally definitely, but in reality, after some work, it is also possible. Yes, and uh, this is coordinate ring of our manifold. Uh, it means that, no, in principle, even if we have this, and if we understand uh, if I understand L0KE as something dual to a uh, space. So if uh, I can think about this by this way, then uh, the natural question now is following. For irreducible integral one, uh, we can write this that uh, cuts away uh, while uh, character formula. It is looking like usual while formula, but we use it for that affine while group. And also, uh, like in finite dimensional case, this formula can be understood as 
calculation of Euler characteristic of some uh, aligned bundle with help of uh, Lefschetz fixed uh, point theorem. And a similar story is here. It means that if you have such kind of space that you, if you uh, want to write down the character, you can do more or less the same things. And uh, for SL2, it is a uh, rather simple formula, but if you try to generalize it to uh, uh, algebra of bigger rank, then in this case, a left fixed fix formula is applicable, surely. But uh, fixed points are singular. Therefore, the structure of Lefschetz uh, fixed point formula will be much, much more interesting. Yes, and uh, then in the usual case. But uh, right now, I, I have uh, my manifold, and uh, uh, at least formally, and uh, I need a little bit more information about uh, what is here. Then uh, some uh, a bit of information about integral representation. <laughs> no, first uh, think that uh, we have uh, for example, SL2 hat, and uh, let us take uh, integrable uh, representation like this. No, I explained uh, you the structure of this representation, what we have to do, induce, and factorize, but uh, the structure of this representation, it is rather good to describe by the following way. Well. Here we have basis EI, which is E times TI. Yes, and uh, uh, usual uh, notation which you are using in uh, vertex operator algebra business or things like that. Uh, in this case, it just means that I can write down generating function. Maybe uh, it is not good to s use the same uh, here. Maybe it will be Z is no, no, not also very good, but it will be E times uh, Z minus I. And uh, these things can be understood, EZ can be understood as a current acting no, in any representation, for example, here. Yes, yes, sure. Uh, this is current, and it is acting uh, here. And uh, 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 st standard uh, Katzmudio vertex operator says us that because we know that in this representation, uh, vector e minus one square applying to what vector is zero, it has some algebraic consequence about uh, the property of this. And this consequence is just following. Well, no, about e z, uh, first of all, uh, because uh, all components e i are commute, then e z uh, uh, is commuting. Uh, 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 current uh, 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 formally uh, it means that E Z1 times E Z2 is zero but because it is acting in this representation and because this is uh, uh, zero in this representation uh, uh, from this we can deduce the fact that this is zero. Uh, here just square. 
What does it mean? It means that uh, no, if I naively write down this as a sum, if I write down the sum, uh, uh, e easy is this. Then, if I consider formally square and factor out the coefficient, coefficient will be e alpha e beta alpha plus beta equal to some g. It means that if I factor out coefficient here in front of some fixed power, it will be such things. And uh, mm, mm, uh, no, for you can ask me that uh, this is infinite. So, but uh, it is acting by zero, uh, uh, but it is acting, uh, uh, action of this infinite sum is well defined in this representation, this is a usual story. This is because it is infinite, but if you apply it to any fixed vector, then uh, only finite number of terms will be non-zero. So this is acting, yes. And, but statement is that such kind of uh, sum acting by uh, zero, Yes, and uh, if you have uh, here, if you have k, then you have to put k plus 1 here, and uh, the same story also will be correct. But uh, maybe I, I have to stop, but I want to formulate one thing and stop after that. So, okay. Now, uh, a sort of proposition. This proposition is the following. I can take uh, L zero k and I put E here. So this is, uh, uh, what was this? Uh, uh, no, let me formulate for one first. Uh, I take this. And I add on highest weight vector e minus one, e minus two, and so on, and the all polynomials in this i, and I get something. And uh, therefore, uh, it is more or less uh, clear that uh, uh, the, uh, our space here have to be quotient of polynomial ring in e minus 1, e minus 2, and so on, up to uh, something. And this something is following from that. And uh, so we have to factorize it by ideal, we generate by the quadratic polynomials, e alpha e beta, alpha plus beta equals some g, and alpha beta is from here, so they are most uh, 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 smaller than minus one. Uh, and uh, no, uh, what here is trivial, what is not? The trivial things that uh, the fact that such kind of relation are uh, hold in representation, this is more or less <coughs> very very, and it is easy. So the fact that uh, this has to be the quotient by this, uh, but it can be smaller. In principle, we can expect more relations here. But simple but not completely trivial fact that it is just this. And if you put k here, then uh, here you have to replace this by E alpha 1, E alpha 2, E alpha uh, K plus 1, the sum of this A uh, R is e, e equal some G. Yes, and uh, so mm, it means that it is polynomial ring in so many variables, in infinitely many variables, but you can cut, factorize it by a sequence of polynomials uh, uh, 
which are also rather simple, but uh, we have infinitely many of them. And uh, if you look to this from the point of view of standard algebra, then you see that it is not completely trivial because such kind of polynomial do not give you regular system. Therefore, you know how to factorize, but it does not give you immediately what you get. You cannot write characters immediately, and in this case, it is some problem. Yes, and so I have to stop uh, or immediately. <laughs> no, I can't. No, I can because I continue soon. Therefore, uh, fine. Okay, thank you very much.